This is like 10% effort, 90% payoff. I'm so old. <laughs> The first thing I want to get to work on is that cheesy ricotta e filling. I need a tablespoon of prepared basil pesto into a pan over medium high heat. Wilt to four or five handfuls of baby spinach. Season that with some salt. That spinach is nice and wilted, so transfer that into a large bowl. Add in two to three tablespoons of basil pesto, two cups of ricotta cheese, a cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano, an egg, an eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Season that with some salt and pepper, and give that a really good mix up. Now to get going on the meaty mixture, I need a tablespoon of oil into my pan. Heat turned up to medium high. Add in 500 grams of lean ground beef until it's golden brown and cooked through. All right, I've got four cups of homemade tomato sauce. Set a cup of that aside and add the rest into that beef. Season that with some salt and turn the heat off because I want that relatively close to room temperature. My sauce is cooled and I've got 16 cooked lasagna noodles. Now it's assembly time. First thing I need is a little line of this ricotta mixture down each one of these noodles. Onto there, just a spoon of that tomato sauce. And into the bottom of each pan, about a quarter cup of that meat sauce. Roll them relatively loosely. Spoon some plain tomato sauce over top. Put about a half a cup of grated mozzarella onto each portion. Cover that with a little bit of aluminum foil. Spritz with nonstick cooking spray. This needs to go into a 400 degree oven for a half an hour. Then I'm gonna remove that foil and let it go for another 10 minutes or until it's golden brown and bubbling. To cook them from frozen, cook them at 400 for an hour, then uncover them and let them go for another 10 minutes or until they're heated through and bubbling. It is golden brown and it looks so good. Two perfect portions of lasagna.